right, guys. Hey, it is Sunday fun day. <clears throat> yeah, still got it. Anyway, um, we're going to work on the Wagoon today. We're going to put some new shocks in the front, some new sway bar links, and hopefully, if everything goes as planned, we're going to set the nose back on it. What I mean by the nose, the front sheet metal, we're going to set that on and get it bolted down. That's the plan. But what you haven't seen, what's happened in between things that I didn't show you guys was, da dum, we painted. The dash. So I got a lot of unmasking to do, but there it is. I'll get the camera going once I unmask it all. But she's all painted. Now it probably took more time to mask the car than it did to paint the dash, just because I didn't want to get overspray over anything. So we made it like a little tunnel area in there because I didn't want overspray going nowhere. So I had to mask it up really well. But she's painted, and we've got a few parts and pieces over here painted for it. You know, your piece underneath your steering column, which attaches to that piece, which is where ignition switch and all that is. So we're rolling. Still got to paint the steering wheel, as you can see. Haven't got that done yet. And all the other pieces, glove box door, speaker cover, all that still needs to be painted. But we are rolling along. We are trying our hardest to get this car ready. So it's on the road for the end of May. Still a ways to go. Got to put the dash together. Got to get sheet metal on. Got to get all the power steering pump and alternator and... All that shit on, gotta get the hoses on, gotta get the rad on, gotta wire the whole car. Gotta wire the whole car up. And uh, there's this stuff that needs to be done. Wanna replace the fuel line, I decided. Remember I said I was looking at that fuel line, it looks like shit. So I'm gonna replace the fuel line. So, it's under there somewhere, there it is. See it there, that old rotten old fuel line? Someone's already joined it already once with the hose and it shouldn't be. So I wanna rip that out of there. Gotta make sure she's mechanically safe, but, I painted the dash because the thing is, is that we're rewiring the car. I'm putting some new gauges in it, nice ones that look factory, but they're not. And I just thought now's the time to paint the dash. It needed the windshield replaced. The rubber was leaking everywhere. So it was time to do the dash while the windshield's out and the gauges are out. Haven't done anything else. As you can see, I haven't done the window moldings or any of that. I can do that next winter. Don't give a shit. Just taking care of the areas that are apart, take care of it now. So that being said, Let's unmask this son of a bitch and get the ball rolling on this Sunday. Okay, I got her unmasked. Got her in stands, got tires and wheels off, got my sway bar links there, got my new front shocks. Take a look inside here at it, all unmasked now. There you go. Like I say, still gotta paint the steering wheel. Gonna throw a little black up around the column piece there, but that's pretty much covered up. So that looks nice. I'm happy with that. Really happy. Uh, what have we got here? What have we got here? We've got. Oh, my wiper. My wiper thing's shot and taken off. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. I'm very pleased with that. Of course, you all remember the engine tranny. I don't think anything's changed there since you saw it last. Still got a bit to do to that too. But yeah, oh look at that, look at that shine. Nothing go wrong with that, right? Now we didn't get carried away. All we did here on this, this is three coats of base and we only gave it two coats of clear. Everything here is just two coats of clear. Normally when we paint a customer car, I'm doing customer cars, I always said to you before, we give it three coats of clear. Even my own on the outside, we give it three. But I didn't get, we didn't get carried away on this car on the inside or the firewall. It's just two coats, it's plenty. That's what most shops give you nowadays anyway, and uh, I'm happy with that. Sometimes, you know, you, you're just trying to... I'm trying to cut a few corners here. I'm trying to make sure i got enough clear to do what I can do, right? So, I'm all happy. So anyway, I'm going to start ripping the shocks out. Gonna get the shocks ripped out now, like I say, get stray bar links in there. And then, uh, I don't know, I'll go from there and see where I'm going. We'll just play it by ear. Okay, I got the, uh, got the old shocks out. And the new ones in, got the new sway bar links in there. So now what I'm working on, <clears throat> is I'm working on the power steering pump. May as well do this, it's easy, no sheet metal, you can just sit here. So I ordered these brackets, thanks to my buddy Dan. Dan told me about a place called Allen Grove, and you gotta look them up. So you look up Allen Grove online, and they make all sorts of brackets for odd situations when you're trying to move your power steering, your alternator, and all that shit around, right? 
I want to eventually put air conditioning in this car. Aftermarket air conditioning. I want to just do the unit that looks retro that goes underneath the dash. So for right now, while, the, while, while I got all the sheet metal off and everything, it's a good time to set up some of the brackets. So when I can afford, because I can't afford the air conditioning now, but my plan is get the alternator and the power steering and all that kind of set, set up and get the brackets on for the compressor then that's already set up on the engine. One day I just got to buy the compressor, put it on, put the hoses on, <coughs> excuse me guys and gals, and put the, um, the unit under the dash. I'm gonna put the condenser on it right now. I'm gonna buy a condenser too and get that in front of the rad right now, even though it's not hooked up. I'm just gonna get that done because everything's apart, good time to do it. So my problem was, is that if you remember in some of the back pictures, my power steering was mounted up in here. My alternator was over here. Normally when you run an AC compressor, you run it here. Now they do make brackets to run it there, but eh, it looks funny there and you kind of want to keep it over here with all the other hoses. So I got on to Allen Grove, like Dan told me, and they send me, see there it is right there, Allen Grove components. And they send me out these brackets, which basically go here, and they tell me how to utilize mounting my power steering pump using these bolts and this water pump bolt. Because before, my power steering pump was mounted up top here. Well, I need these top bolts to move my alternator over here, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm trying to do today. So I've got this all worked out, like they said, and I'm going to move it over. Now, what I had to do, though, is I had to buy a different power steering pump. And luckily, they tell you, they tell you what to get. So see, the reason I had to buy a different one, here's my existing one here. And some power steering pumps have a stud that comes off down in here. And mine doesn't. So because of that, I had to get, whoops, had to get the one that had the stud on it. So they actually even tell you and show you online which ones you can get. So I ended up getting one for Camaro, which has the stud. So that's the power steering pump I got. And then of course I need to get, they tell you, you need to have a double groove pulley, not a single. You know, you gotta change that out. You gotta change your crank pulley out to a three pulley situation, which I bought. So I'm playing with this today, right now at this moment, and try and get all this lined up and see if it works. And if it works, I'll be super happy. And if it don't, well, I um, don't know. I guess I'll have to go over to Dan's house and drink all his rum. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. Okay, so I got the, <clears throat> the power steering pump put in place. So this Allen Grove bracket that I used, what it did was it allowed me to use the two lower bolts on your engine block. And it uses the lower bolt of the water pump. And that's it. So what that's gonna do now is that's gonna free up one, two, three, four, five bolts here. So, and everything seems to be lining up. Like I said, I had to buy a three groove pulley for the bottom if I'm gonna run AC. Had to get a two groove for the top. So these two grooves here are lining up perfectly with the first two lines. And the, the, the pulley here is lining up with the center and the bottom one there. So I think it's all working out. So my next step is I had to buy the Allen Grove kit from uh, for the alternator and I bought the I bought the 223 one and it gives me this bracket as you can see in the picture it gives me this bracket which is going to bolt to my exhaust manifold on the side and it gives you all the proper spacers it tells you everything really well instructions very happy with this it says we even even tells you the belt tells you like what they're using um, so we're going to try and do this one next. I'm just waiting. I, I painted these. They come raw steel. I painted these. These are dry. But I'm waiting for a couple of the other little spacers to dry up. They're not quite dry from the paint. Tells you what to use if you're using headers or if you're using the ram horn manifolds, which is what I'm on. Tells you what spacers to use. So I'm quite impressed with this bracket. It looks like this one is going to go like that in front of the alternator, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, and then this is going to go behind it. Yeah, it's... Right. So this piece here, you got to put spacers obviously in behind here, but this is going to go something like that. And then my alternator is going to sit up higher here to clear the power steering. So then everything is going to be moved over to this side. So that's going to allow me to mount my compressor over there when the time comes. I like to say, I am going to pick up the brackets for the compressor. I'm probably gonna pick those up next week. I'm gonna put the brackets on. I just can't afford the compressor or the unit itself right now, but I'm gonna get the brackets on there for the compressor, and I'm gonna get the condenser in the front mounted nicely to the radiator 
uh, while this is all apart. And that way there, like I say, all I got to do when the time comes is I can afford it, is I can buy the compressor one day, then the unit or the hoses, buy whatever I want, but at least everything is set up, ready to mount it on. And this is the time to do it while it's all apart, right? So, I got the, like I said, I got the spacers over here just drying. I painted them. There we go. So I'm waiting for those to dry. So I can, uh, I can still see the paint's wet on the bench. So once those dry up, that'll be good. But uh, in the meantime, remember I was telling you guys about that? Some of you said hammer tone, hammer, and I said hammered paint. We call it hammered in Canada. I think the Americans call it hammer tone. And you can see how it is kind of on the cap. See how it looks like it's kind of, it almost looks like it's fish eyeing. But that's factory. So I'm going to paint up this part of my heater now. But I did paint the other part. I'm slowly working on stuff here. Let me set this down. I'll show you. I just set it in the office here. There we go. God, it's a mess around here. Got to do spring cleanup soon. So I don't know if you can see it, how it is on there. I don't know if it even shows. Anyway, it's... They can kind of see it there. See how it's got that hammered look? To me, like I say, it looks like you painted on a surface that had oil on it and the paint wasn't sticking properly. But that's how it's supposed to look. So there's one piece done. So I'm going to paint the other piece. Maybe, maybe while I'm waiting for them things to dry, I'll crawl underneath and put these rear shocks on too. Maybe I'll tackle that while I'm at it. And uh, we'll see. Look at these cool things I went. I went garage sale the other day at the wife yesterday. Still in the box. Crystal doorknobs, brand new in the box, never opened. Still got the price on it from new, 95 cents. You're probably thinking, why did I get these? Well, they make awesome shifters. I got those two there. I paid 10 bucks, 10 bucks for the pair. And I still got a couple back in here. See, because they have a set screw that goes in them. See, they're nice as shifter knobs. Sometimes they're very nice. So I got a couple there. There's the shifter knob that used to be in my Model A. Remember that? Oh boy, I had to watch when you were grabbing the gears of that sucker. And anyway, um, yeah, so these are kind of cool. Those are cool. I will, we'll put those somewhere. Where will we put them today? Oh, we'll put them up here with the other ones. I'm going to be reorganizing this whole office soon because I'm building onto the shop. I'm going to be knocking this wall out and whoosh, that way. You know what I mean? Like whoosh, that way. That's right. Anyway, so I think I'll go, uh, yeah, I'll go paint the other heater piece and we'll continue on. Okay guys, I set the nose on here. Now it's just sitting here, it's not bolted down. As you can see, it's kind of sticking out here a bit. Because I got to get these brackets, I forgot, I dropped them brackets off. They go in the corner and they bolt down to here. Well, I dropped them off at the blaster. I got all excited and I forgot I dropped them off. I was hoping to have the sheet metal bolted on there. But what I did do is we got the power steering pump all figured out. We got our belts figured out. And we got our alternator all figured out. So that's all the brackets. You know, obviously this, this, this moves. I mean, you can, you can move that wherever you want. But it's going to roughly sit around there. So that's not bad. So that's going to give me room now to put my brackets over here when I pick them up tomorrow for my compressor for my AC. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. It was a good day. Power steering hoses are all on. I think I'm pretty much there for today. Um, I finished painting off the heater. Whoop, I cooked something on the ground there. Got the heater painted up, the other half of it. Um, got my shields that kind of go in behind my grill. They're all nice satin black done up, so that's good. So that is a very good day today for a Sunday. It is a five o'clock, five o'clock it is. So I might play here for another half hour or I might not. I don't know. I'm very happy. I still got Monday off. So what I'm doing tomorrow is I'm going to go pick up the brackets for here. I'm picking up the rad support new bolts and cushions. Um, I'm picking up the proper belts. I just fitted it with old belts I had laying around. So I'm picking up the proper belts for that. Uh, going to grab my brackets, paint them, and uh, Try and get all this stuff on here tomorrow and then maybe start working on the sheet metal a little bit because like I say, I do have tomorrow off of work. So we are getting close. I think we're going to get there. I think we are. Anyway. Okay, guys. Well, hey, I'm going to call it a day for you guys anyway. It's always a good time at old time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. 
And uh, stay tuned. And remember, it's Allen Grove for the brackets. They're the ones out there. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. That's it. Enjoy your day.